England's most capped player, Peter Shilton, says that Wayne Rooney shouldn't be given a cap to play a one-off game at Wembley against America because it makes a mockery of our system. Rooney retired from international football last year, but will form part of the squad which faces the United States next Thursday in a match named after him called the Wayne Rooney Foundation International. Well, Peter joins us now. So, Peter, I completely disagree with you about this, and I want you to right. explain to me what the big deal is. Here's why I disagree. I think most friendlies are pretty pointless, always have done, don't really enjoy watching them. They're a kind of run out for the teams to see who's up to what. Wayne Rooney is... One of the greatest players to ever. I don't play agree with that, but anyway, that's the first. Okay, you, you can respond to my fire. <laughs> Rooney's one of the best players we've ever produced. He didn't really get a send off. He's still playing at a really good level. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about England and, you know, the honour that goes with playing for England. And I think that you just made the statement about friendly matches. Mm. There's no friendly matches, you know, that they're, they're, they're always games that. You build for the future. You know, you get players come in, you give them, try them out. It's very important, you know, uh, to play for England in any match. Obviously, it's the competitive games. I mean, in the summer, we had a wonderful World mm. Cup. Mm. Gareth Southgate set a lot of good standards. There was a great spirit within the team. He's always said that, you know, you've got to work to get in the team. You, you know, you don't just get caps for nothing. Then all of a sudden, I picked the paper up and, and Wayne's getting a game, a game. Now, it's since... Do you think the... he's not on merit, allowed to well, be Well, I don't know why he's what? getting a game. The yeah. money's not okay. actually going to his... I've read this morning, it's not actually going to his... Well, they're going to have bucket collections, they're well, going to give other money Yeah, well, to that's it. fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, you know, if, if anything to do with raising money for charity yeah. is fantastic. Um, do you and think if, it becomes and if, kind of stunts Well, if, game, if, if Wayne, for example, was honoured by going out on the pitch and having a presentation mm. and waving mm. to the crowd and saying, great, because... You've got Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, Gary Lineker played his last game and got substituted, mm. never played again. The Germans have a habit. I know that we should... Well, the one-off game, yeah. But the Germans do this quite a lot with some of their players. I remember Luke uh, Podolski, who played for Arsenal, he got one. They do this quite a lot, actually, with their yeah. big heroic players. We haven't... See, my argument is this. I watched the Bobby Moore documentary again the other night. They re-aired it. Incredible mm. documentary about Bobby Moore. He never got knighted Bobby Moore. Mm. He won the well, World that, Cup. That, that was, that was, so a, we, we have that a, was bad, a disgrace in my eyes because I knew Bobby Moore. My point is we have a bad record of paying due honour to great players in our game. What is wrong with just giving Rooney a night where we celebrate him? Well, it's, it's just the, the precedent as well. Is this going to happen regularly now? Has it happened before? No. Why does it happen to Wayne Rooney all of a sudden? Why does he have to play? You know, I mean, no disrespect to Wayne, but he hasn't had a fantastic record in tournaments for England. In fact, it's not very good at but all. But he has been playing very, but, very well in Washington. Well, well, he's, he's playing in America. He isn't playing in, in the Premier League right. in England. I'm not going to knock Wayne, but, you know, he's done... Well, you very, are knocking Wayne. He's done, I'm not knocking You're Wayne. You're saying don't give him his name? No. Well, I'm just saying, is it right to give him his night? And I don't think so. And I think from what I've read, all the big sports reporters in the country, they agree. The reporters, but the players. Why, for example, football Spain legends. have got football David... legends have all been saying... The Spain opposite. have got David Silver coming up soon. He's going to go out on the pitch in his suit and kick the game off. Mm. Yeah, and now, that would be the now, right way to do it. You know, the, my, my thing is him actually playing in the game. And originally, it was made out he was going to be get the number 10 shirt, he was yeah. going to play the whole match. He's not doing that. Now, if I was an England player, and, and he did make a comment, to be fair, that he said, I'm going to be in the squad and I'm going to give them the benefit of my experience. Yeah. And I made the point earlier on that Wayne hasn't really had great tournaments for England. In fact, you know... You so, don't think Wayne Rooney could give them the benefit of his experience? Hold on a minute. Peter Shilton. These What's players... What's mouth out? Well, let me finish. These players... I've just been in the World Cup semi-final. They've achieved something Wayne never achieved. Now, at you the end of the day... You don't think they could learn from You're going to have Rooney. Wayne Rooney going into a squad, never been in the World Cup semi-final, what, given the benefit... That was just a small comment. I think we won... We got in the okay. semi-final of the World Cup. These players have formed a bond. And all of a sudden, it's going to be the Wayne Rooney circus mm. for me. Look, mm. if you And went, it already is. The game went, already is. Well, I think it's devalued. Gareth Southgate is... From what he's achieved... Even now, we haven't even got to the match. But I would love you to go into that dressing room yeah. because I would think that you could give them. Great well, I'll go in the dressing room and shake hands with people. You, you never won't want to. Pay the I, you won't, never I wouldn't want to go out on the pitch and play again. But you never won a tournament. Look, well, I put my gloves on now for ten minutes. <laughs> You know what? I mean, you know what? I wouldn't be against that. Let's get Frank Lampard and see 
And what's all I'm saying, I've got great respect for Wayne. I'm just saying, I think it's the wrong way to celebrate. You know, it's devaluing England, and I don't think it's he a good debate. Celebrate. Funny enough, a lot, you're right that all the football reporters have said this. Actually, most of the England legends I've seen have actually backed Wayne Rooney mm. getting his night. So it's an interesting split between top players. You're, you're one of the rare ones who's come out publicly. Oh, Alan Shearer came out and said, you know, in an article, you, you know, there's a certain players, yeah, fine, you know, they, that's their opinion. You know, I think I've always valued England yep. and I always said when the caps were being given away from... Should you get a cap for, for a friendly anyway? Yeah, Is of course you could. Yeah. I'd Listen, take away caps how many times a day... Oh, if you didn't have friendlies, you can't... Give players a chance. We're building for the next Euro, yeah. right? Every game is vital because there's not that many games. So if you've got young players, you want to come through, we're building for the future. Every game is vital. Not just, you know, he's taking... If he comes on for 10 minutes, fine. It's just what I think is okay. setting a precedent. Hey, Peter, uh, before we let you go, um, this is the first time we've spoken to you mm. since the terrible helicopter crash which happened at the King Power Stadium two weeks ago. Um, you're Leicester board and bred your first club, you started playing for Leicester That's when it, you were yeah. just a child and you knew Vichai as well. Um, but one of the most awful things is you witnessed that helicopter yeah, crash. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to talk about it, but I was with my wife and we saw the crash. But I just want to pay tribute to him, mm. you know, as, and the family, as, as, because what they've done for Leicester is unbelievable. Um, not just around the football club, but within the city. And I think, yeah. you know, he set a precedent. They made me and my wife feel so welcome, the whole family. It was quite unique. Yeah. And they've done that with everybody. The players, you can see the, the players have travelled to Bangkok yeah. and are coming back today, yeah. you know, to pay their respects. There's suddenly all that to be taken away yeah. in, in, you know, in the space of a few minutes. It, it was horrendous. Yeah. But I went up with my wife and we, we laid some flowers and the emotion around the club and the respect yeah. was terrific. And I, I, I would just obviously, you know, say that, as, I think a lot of people a lot within football who go into it want to win games, success. They miss the big picture yeah. of what it's all about. It is all about a football club and the community as well as success. Mm. Listen, he won the Premier League for Leicester, which Amazing, was yeah. unbelievable. Well, the players and the manager, obviously, but mm -hmm. with him, he Leicester, won, the Leicester wouldn't have won that mm. Premier League without him putting his money in. And they've got big plans for the future, and I, I'm sure they're going to carry those on. But it's, it's so, so sad mm. that Isn't something it? like that's been lost. Yeah, very well, well said, said, Peter. Well and said. I'm very sorry that you and your family had to experience what you did yeah. too. A uh, horrendous experience for all of you. Uh, thank you very much, thank Peter. You Great to see you. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. It's really good to see you.